What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. How is everyone doing today? Techtober has a, and, and is about to roll into uh, Tech November, whatever you want to call it. It's so busy guys. I have like so many things I can make videos on and not enough time and not enough energy either. It's pretty wild. Um, so with that said, we have a couple of tech news stories, interesting ones today for sure. And then also some news and questions from you guys as well. So let's roll in and dive into the tech news. Our first story of the day is about the Galaxy S22 Ultra. We're gonna drop this off with a bang. We're gonna make your eyes hurt and bleed because the Galaxy S22 Ultra is due to have one of the brightest displays ever. So check this out. This is a tweet from Ice Universe who's saying that the peak brightness of the S22 Ultra broke through the highest record of Samsung's OLED screen. Obviously Samsung still keeps the best screens for itself. So when you look at something like that, you are you're damaged for life. When you, if you go and you have a Samsung phone and you like bright displays, Samsung is always, from what I've seen, the way to go. And you go to someone else's phones and you're like, yeah, it's just not bright, especially outdoors eh, or this lighting situation, just not enough. Samsung damages you, and I don't mean damages you in a bad way. I mean damages you like to where like you want that best all the time, especially if you get one of Samsung's premium best phones and then try something else that's parallel. It's one of the problems I have with the Pixel 6 Pro is that the screen just does not get bright enough. Um, even at 100%, it's like, I shouldn't have to go to 100% just to get amazing brightness. I should be able to go at 50 and get that. And you can do that with a Samsung phone. So regardless, it's gonna be crazy bright. So if you love bright displays, you're gonna probably wanna go to the S22 Ultra. Next up is about Goodlock 2022. If you know Goodlock, let me grab my phone. It is a highly customizable app that you can download for your Samsung Galaxy phone. I didn't mention a specific phone. I said Samsung Galaxy phone because from what I can remember, it's available from, from, from most uh, 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 Samsung Galaxy uh, models. Now, I know this app isn't available in every single country, so if it's not, you can usually sideload it. But ultimately, this app allows you to customize so many things from your lock screens to your regular screens to your sound settings to um, your themes. And there's so much to do in this app. It's overwhelming, but it's also very amazing at the same time. It's definitely a reason why you'd want to get a Samsung Galaxy phone. And the Goodlock 2022 is bringing some new features and a feature I've been, seriously, I'm not even joking. I've been asking and I've been waiting for this for 10 years. It's on almost every other phone that you can imagine on the Android side and we're finally getting it. So let's take a look at this. This tweet's coming from Tron who says the Goodlock 2022 release date, new features. Disclaimer, I have no idea when your country will get official Goodlock support. You can meanwhile sideload it with NiceLock and he uh, links it down below the, the NiceLock app, which is basically Goodlock. Uh, but it's again, it's like a hacked up version of it. Ultimately, checking out these screenshots, Goodlock 2022 operating U1 UI will open in November. So beta, uh, I and maybe it's not beta, it's just Goodlock 2022 actually will launch in November. Home up and task manager feature is highly dependent on your OS. So it will open in December. So one of the, the, the main thing I want is in home up. We'll have to wait for December for that. Updates with new features listed below will be available in January, 2022. So following good lock apps are already available for use in One UI 4 beta, Lockstar, Routine Plus, one Hand Operation Plus, Pentastic, Wonderland, Theme Park, Nice Catch, and Edge Touch. The next one says, good luck, 2022 new features. So Lockstar, you're gonna get improved custom designing features. Lock your widget edit feature improvements. You can al alpha edit, change icon, icon looks. Um, edit always on display, edit always on display elements individually. You can use stickers to decorate your lock screen. It's gonna be fun. Your clock face, your watch face, connect Galaxy Watch 4 to set up watch faces made with the Watch Face Studio now on the clock face widget. Uh, sound assistant, volume panel, theme support in DeX modes. That's like their desktop operating system on their um, tablets. Voice alter feature in voice over IP or voice recorder app. I'm curious to see what that one. So it sounds like we're gonna be able to, when we're on phone calls and stuff, alter our voice. That's kind of interesting. Um, the next one, and we're getting close to what I was talking about, Multistar, this isn't it, but Multistar Dex team has joined. Good luck. I love Samsung Dex support of high resolution no matter what accessories you connect with. Use more apps at once. Rotate Dex to portrait mode if possible. Z Flip 3 exclusive. 
January, possibly new feature for the cover uh, seven that I think they mean screen that everyone is waiting for possibly the official introduction of Samsung health hack that enables all apps in cover screen home up. This is what I'm talking about. We went for the 10 freaking years, vertical apps list, swipe up and down to browse your app drawer icons. So instead of only be able to go to left and right, when you're looking at all your apps in your app drawer, you'll now be able to go up and down completely from the very top of the screen to the very bottom and see all of them. Keys Cafe, make my own gifts, make my own sticker with Samsung keyboard. Nice shot, they're gonna come back with new easy to use features, new settings for screen capture, recording features, option not to save screenshot image to clipboard, option to turn on do not disturb move when screen recording, I like that one, that's gonna be cool. Wonderland, you can now, you could not set a custom video file as a video wallpaper. One hand operation plus gesture hotkey, send a shortcut signal to a running app via custom gestures. Screen move, move the screen with your gestures to assist click with your fingers and uh, that you can't reach. So, bunch of new things coming. I'm super stoked about the app drawer and be able to scroll all the way up and down. I know it's really nothing, but it's something I'm really surprised even Samsung just didn't even give you the option to do. And now they're finally giving it to us, but they're doing it in the Good Lock app. So, most people still probably won't even realize it or maybe they don't even want it, whatever. whatever. But my question to you guys is, what are you most stoked about for the Good Luck 2022 feature list right there? Let me know in the comments down below what gets you the most hyped up. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that bang. First question comes from Dave. What do you think cell phones will look like in 10 years and what updates will they possibly have. That's a great question. I think the what we'll really see with cell phones is that I think they're going to be more like the Galaxy Z Fold. I think you see a lot more phones like this, probably a lot skinnier as well, so that you don't have this big hunk of junk of, of device in your hand. I think you'll see a lot more pullables and rollables and things like that. I think that'll be the next big future of, of cell phones. Timothy Hammock, question, which Samsung tablet would be better option coming from the tablet A and an iPad Pro? What would be better option, the S6 or the S7 or the Tab FE 5G or should I wait for the Tab S8 series? I'll be honest with you, I would probably just wait for the Tab S8 series. It's only a few months away. We're in November. It should be out, I believe, in January or February. So I would just wait for that. Otherwise, I'd probably grab, if you don't need an OLED display, because the Tab S6 has an OLED display, I would say just end up grabbing a Tab S7. I wouldn't get the FE. I'd either get a Tab S7 or really I would wait for the Tab S8. Orlando Vintes, question, what's the benefit of downloading a beta upgrade? So if you're talking about Samsung phones, it's really, and you're talking about like One UI 4 beta or something like that, it's really just to be able to try the new features that they've added to the phones. And some of them are hidden, some of them will be right up front, but most of them are probably gonna be, you won't even realize it. It's the look and feel of it. Sometimes the optimization of the performance is better. Sometimes you add more camera features or improve the camera experience. So it's really to just try out the new stuff. Colton Cor Carnario, uh, thank you for all your great informative content. Question, uh, would the One UI 4.0 based on Android 12 be coming to Samsung Galaxy S tabs this year? Yes, they definitely, well, this year, no. I don't think you'll get it this year. I think you're gonna end up getting it in the first quarter of 2022. I won't even be surprised if they push it all the way back to June of 2022, but I, if I had to put money on it, I'm gonna guess the first three months of 2022 is when you'll get that One UI 12 update uh, for your tablet, especially the newer tablets. Matheneum, Matheneum, would you rather uh, buy a new Tab S8 Ultra or the Surface Laptop Studio? It depends what you really want it for. If it's for just getting work done, I think the PC is probably gonna be, the laptop's probably gonna be a little bit better for that, at least what I feel. Tab S8 Ultra, I think you'll be able to get work done, but you gotta remember, it's, everything's like a mobile app. Some of the app mobile apps aren't optimized, they might look a little weird. Um, but for me, if I had to get work done, just because some of the apps I use, like I use DaVinci Resolve for video editing, I need a PC for that. Now there are video editing apps on the mobile side, but I really like DaVinci Resolve, so I would want the PC, but it just depends what you do. If it's for fun, mostly fun stuff, I'd say get the tablet from Samsung. 
And our last question comes from Jonathan Straub. Do you know if the next generation of Google Assistant will come to other Android phones like the Z Fold 3? I'm so excited, can't wait to see the Pixel Fold. I love my Z Fold 3, so I don't get the Pixel Fold. Great video, thanks. Yeah, I, I don't see why uh, most of those features from Google Assistant won't roll over. I don't, maybe not every single one of them, but but some of them, if not all of them, should. Uh, Pixel Fold, I know, I'm so stoked for that, dude. I'm like, oh my God, if it needs to come out. Like, I, I really love that Pixel phone. I took some amazing photos today of my son. He's like, and it was just like point, click, 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 and they came out great. None of them were blurry. I took three photos. I mean, his eyes were closed on some of them, which I can't help. I mean, I guess I could edit and look through a photo that didn't have his eyes like that, but man, I really, the Pixel, come on, Pixel. Bring out that Pixel fold. I really need you. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question as the first word. I'll answer it in tomorrow's video. We'll see you down the road. Peace.